Hey you guys, so we're back, back on the vlog and tip, yes, and we, like I said in a previous video where I did the kind of chit chat, get ready with me, we now have our regular camera back in business, so I'm very excited about that. Right now I'm just in the kitchen, I want to make a little something something. Uh, this is a super chunk brownie mix. It's really easy. Like I'm just gonna be mixing it with water, pretty much. But I thought I would come to you guys and chit chat. If you could, <laughs> if you could see little Twinkie over there. <laughs> Say hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, she's always sitting there waiting on me to like give her food. But she knows she's not allowed in this kitchen. I'm trying to be quiet because Boo is in the back there studying. But we're going to get prepared with our brownies. Let's see. All right, first of all, I need a bowl. But yeah, I'm very excited to be back and rolling in action. Um, the vlogs have been like, kind of flunking. Um, yeah, the vlogs have, the vlogs have been flunking because of my camera <laughs> and um like a little bit of discouragement because of that but i talked about that in the last video so if you didn't check that out check it out i talked all about discouragement and stuff you know things that we all deal with so uh, i want to let you guys see what i'm doing here so apparently i've chosen the wrong bowl <laughs> And mainly because I cannot reach all the way up there without getting my uh, chair. So I'm just gonna have to go get that. Put this in a bigger bowl and start stirring. Oh, I should probably set this oven. 350. <sighs> Trials of a short girl. <laughs> I'm really not that short, I'm 5'4", but I still can't reach all the way up there. So yeah, Blue likes chocolate stuff. So I picked up this little mix. It's so easy to make. One day I'll learn how to make this like from scratch. But for now, the mix is doing fine. Okay, so now I have to get some oil, three tablespoons of water, and an egg. how chunky these big chunks <laughs> looks like pudding looks yummy yes I am still not stocked up with all the pans and dishware cookware that I need in this place uh, but this does the trick for now So I don't have cooking spray and I don't really believe in cooking spray because I feel like there are like like different additives that they put in there. So I'm using butter to put on the pan. So 
that it doesn't stick. Just a little tip that my mom taught me. This is not a cooking video, by the way. All right, guys, so I want to show you how Twinkie, oh, really, Twinkie? I want to show you how she acts when she sees these. These are mango pieces. Her new thing is mangoes and strawberries. playing me right now all right you do you girl she's playing because she sees the camera is on it's all right we'll catch her later so I almost forgot to show you guys the end result because I'm eating this thing like crazy it's so good my mouth is warning okay bye okay guys so I just finished editing a video and posting it about um overcoming neg like negativity discouragement blockers to your you know, your goals and dreams um i talk a lot about when i you know my camera basically broke on me and when i didn't have a laptop that was working right um yeah so i hope that it you know helps and encourages people um i'm really happy with the growth of my channel this far so um like i kind of I'm kind of behind in my like upload schedule though. I was supposed to be, no not upload, but recording. I was supposed to record yesterday, um, but I was just chilling. So I used that day to chill. And now today I'm pretty much like catching up. So um, I recorded one, two, three videos and I'll have another one by the end of the week. I'm not sure exactly what that will be. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just need to be consistent and that's pretty much it. Like being consistent is so important and key to success in any place. Like whether you're trying to make it on YouTube or make it as a whatever you want to be, you have to be consistent. And when people see that you're serious and you take yourself seriously, you then begin to really track growth and um, yeah, and it becomes better for you so that's what I'm trying to do even though sometimes I feel a little discouraged and like ah I could just skip this day no like Friday I was feeling so disgusting but I knew I had to post a video especially because it is a sponsored video so I had to get myself up and say okay I gotta do this <laughs> So um, I already recorded it, but I had to like edit and send the video over to the people and all that stuff. So thank God that's done. And yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, huh? this is how I'm uh, spending my Sunday. I should probably get up, wash my face and just go chill, watch some YouTube videos and get some dinner um, warmed up. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday.
Hey guys, so it is Thursday <laughs> and I know there's been a few days that I missed out on. Like I said, my day my 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 day-to-day -day life is not 100 percent exciting, so I try to do what I can as far as the vlogs. But look, I retested my roots by doing the two strand uh the, the two strand twist uh method. So yeah, about that. <laughs> the other day I yeah, it was on Sunday actually, after that last clip when you saw me eating brownies. I decided to do two strand twists in my hair and so this time I actually did it right but I don't know if it's my problem only but when you do two strand twists like the the rope twists does your scalp feel tight like does your hair feel tight like you just got um box braids you know back in the days when you used to get box braids and you couldn't sleep on your head you know is that just my problem because I my head felt so tight for two whole days and the third day I just was like I gotta get this out my head I gotta take this out excuse the noise guys I am actually at work I'm on break right now but yeah I said I can't do this anymore I have to take this out of my head because I don't want my scalp to feel tight and I don't want it being pulled tight I don't like seeing my my you know my roots being pulled I don't like that and plus it was very uncomfortable plus it kind of looked kind of juvenile on me I don't know if maybe because I have shorter hair it's not long yet but it just looked kind of juvenile so I took it out and I had like some really flat two strand twist out uh, locks but um, today after a few days of wetting it it did kind of bounce back into its its norm and um so i think i think i want a bun <laughs> you know i really wish that i could do like those cool actually i could if i really wanted to those cool like jaden smith styles <laughs> but um yeah let me just get this up and out yeah guys so i hope that you're having a great week i am having a wonderful week so far and i am so grateful to god god is so good um yeah have a few things that I have prepared for you guys but I'm not telling you yet because it's all a surprise I need to get things you know kind of solidified before I actually share it with you guys so I know it kind of feels like I'm keeping a secret but don't worry don't worry I'm gonna let you know soon <laughs> but anyway guys I hope that you've been enjoying this week's of this week of my videos and that you're enjoying your week as well um yeah i share so much on my instagram so if you guys don't follow me on instagram you gotta follow you gotta follow me on instagram i share so much on there i'm pretty much on there every day sharing new instagram stories so my instagram is it's desiree marie underscore um i show a lot of me working out and my hair and stuff like that but um in the stories i love to show my workouts because it motivates me to continue like let me tell you you already know i was inconsistent with the working out in the beginning of the, the uh year i told myself that i would work out so that i would better myself from the inside out and i that was a fail because it started to get cold but now that I am with Jason, who is a fitness trainer, like it's so much easier and so much more fun to get back into the gym. So I pretty much share my, you know, my my enjoyment while in the gym. Um, not to be bragging, but to show you guys, look, if I can do it, you can do it too. You can pursue your goals, your dreams, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. Um, Nothing should hold you back. Like my ultimate goal for 2018 was to focus on me and really build, rebuild myself from the inside out. Um, the end of last year to the beginning of this year, I, I, had, I was depressed. You guys saw me, I was depressed. I was not in a good state. But thank God, um, he's helping me to be consistent with the things that give me joy, which is being in the gym, working out, speaking to God, praying, and all of these things have really like 
given me hope and strength to continue and I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful for you guys but yeah um yes like I said I have some great amazing wonderful things in the works for you guys um I can't say what it is yet so it, I may have to tell you in a few maybe weeks to months I don't know but just know it's something good something to give back to you guys because you guys have been so good to me but i hope that you guys also joined in on the giveaway because that is actually wrapping up so the winner will be announced soon anyway guys thank you for watching this vlog i know that it's been like a big collage of different events but i'm so happy and grateful that you made it this far if you made it this far hashtag crew down below okay because i love you and i want to know that it's real so hashtag crew down below and i'll see you in the next one oh should i do weekly vlogs what do you guys want should i do one day per week that i post a vlog should i i don't know let me know down below i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye